One of the few places hunters could shoot along the Rio Grande in the metro has been shut down by the state. The land commissioner says it was too dangerous to keep open, but some hunters call it a rushed bad decision. News 13's Chris McKee talked to both sides. Well, this is incredible. Home to thousands of ducks and geese in Albuquerque's South Valley, west of the Valle de Oro Refuge. People have been hunting here for quite a long time. This 200-acre chunk of Riverside State Trust land is a gem, according to hunters like Joel Gay. There's very little hunting opportunity on the Rio Grande for waterfowl hunters. But that opportunity to hunt is over now. To lose this one at the edge of Albuquerque it just seems like a tremendous loss. State Land Commissioner Stephanie Garcia Richard recently closed the parcel to all hunting and trapping. Hunting is not smart to do in this area. That's not a good use for this area. Now, while this state land has always been open for hunting and trapping, the state says not many people used it until recently when the Valle de Oro built this big parking lot. The land commissioner says the closure was fueled by a surge of new hunters using the area and the neighborhood complaining about safety. I know that the uh, calls were, were ever increasing. I don't know a, a total number. With a church, school, and homes within a mile of the land, Garcia Richard says she's worried someone will get hurt. This is a particular case, I believe, that really had to do with the health and safety of the residents in the South Valley. We don't agree that this is a safety issue. Joel says duck hunters typically use shotguns with shorter range and aim toward the river, where there's brush between hunters and nearby structures. He hopes the land commissioner reconsiders the decision. The commissioner made a big mistake in closing this area without any public input. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Hunters are planning to voice their concerns about the closure at a meeting on Thursday. We've posted details on always on KRQE.com.